All right, now we all know turf is a beautiful solution to keeping a green lawn during the drought, but how do you choose the right turf? That's why Jamie from Sinlon is with us. How are you this morning? I'm great, Clint. How are Good you? Good morning. It's great Hi, to have Greg. you. Now, Greg, real quick question. You deal with so many people every day with your company. Uh, when they're looking at synthetic turf, do they have like tons of questions for you? They do, and there's a lot of different manufacturers out there. And we, we have Jamie here to talk about what to look for in the quality and installation of turf. And I'm sure you drive around and see, I do every day, some lawns that look like you can't even tell the difference. I, I can't anymore. I don't know about you, but it's, yeah, I cannot really tell the difference. It's really amazing. So it's great to have you on today. Thank you. What should someone look for? Well, gosh, there are so many different reasons why people get synthetic lawn these days. But between the aesthetic uh, benefits, which are, it's pretty obvious, it, it's green, it looks like grass, it's never going to need to be mowed, it's, it's not going to get those little nice yellow circles that your dogs leave behind. Right. Um, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a perfect lawn for, for, you know, 15, 20 years to come. All right, so they've got to have questions for you. How do they, how do they choose the right turf for their lifestyle? That is probably one of the hardest questions that I run into, and there's so many different products out on the market today, it can be really con confusing to a consumer. Um, so one of the first things, of course, is it needs to appeal to them. They need to like the, the appearance of it because they're going to be looking at it for the next 10 or 15 years again. Right. Um, it also needs to perform properly, and if it doesn't perform proper properly, it's not going to look good for years to come. When you say perform, what do you mean? I'm not well, it, it, um, the way you use the grass will dictate how the grass looks over time. So if you bought a, an inexpensive product that was not meant for heavy amounts of traffic, but you had four kids using it every day for the next 10 years, or, or four dogs using it for that matter, or you just liked to go entertain um, your friends every weekend, that grass is probably not going to last more than a couple years uh, as far as looks go. So. Part of the process is you interview the clients and find out what their lifestyle needs are. And I know the, these are just a few samples. They're, this is only, what, five different samples. But you said you have a truck or a trunk load of different choices and a huge showroom, 22,000 square feet, right? That's right. We, we just moved into a new facility. It's, a, it's got a very large warehouse, and we're in a 22,000 square foot building. Um, we have over 28 different products to choose from, and we've actually installed most of those products in the ground in front of our office. It gives customers a really good tool to understand what their product is going to look like outside in a large patch, too. It's really hard to make a, a huge decision based on one of these little squares here. But since they are here, I'm curious, though, for those watching at home, okay, so can you take us through the differences here? Can we, do we start here or, or where? Um, well, I, there's no uh, real order to this. This is just trying to showcase the variety that we have, really, to choose from. So you've got anything from a putting green material that's made of nylon okay. to something where you can get really fun with color. Um, we've got a really short pile of grass here that would take traffic very well. Uh, I've got a really nice, lush, tall grass here that- And um, soft. Very soft. It, For it, a front yard, it maybe? It generally fools most people driving by it, but it wouldn't hold up to traffic very well, unfortunately, because of the actual um, profile of the yarn that they use in this. And then we have products like this that are very nice landscape grasses that kind of, I, I'd like to call that the hybrid because it really performs nicely, right. it looks very nice, and, and so it kind of meets all needs. Something I didn't even think about is you said that you can put this on roofs besides for lawns, you could use it on slopes. What else, what other applications are there? Well, synthetic lawn lends itself to a lot of applications that real grass wouldn't be able to accommodate. So we've got rooftops um, that would normally not be able to take the weight of a natural grass that are now being transformed into new living spaces with synthetic. Um, we've got playground areas that are commercially able to accept um, uh, children falling on them because we can put pads under the grass. Okay, so, so if folks are watching at home, and like me, I have kids and dogs, mm -hmm. is there one here that I might choose? Actually, I would choose this one for you as far as kids and dogs go. But durability. I, I, yeah, exactly. You've got the durability, but you've still got the look and you've still got the softness that the kids need. But again, we have 28 different products to choose from. So there's a, a wide variety that would work for your situation if we got you into our showroom and really had you take a look at our different products. Another important thing for our viewers to know is the installation part is so important in oh, yeah. choosing the right company to do the installation. Could you get into that a little bit? It please? really is. Yeah, the installation is almost as important as the product, ex product itself. Excuse me. Um, 
The, uh, he, for, of course, you want to make sure that your installer is licensed and that they're experienced. Um, you know, a lot of people in this industry um, are newer to the industry, and you just want to make sure that your yard isn't going to be the guinea pig for them. Um, <laughs> A, uh, a licensed, experienced uh, contractor is very important, but also an established company is very important. The worst phone call I get is somebody that calls in and says, I had my grass installed last year, and I can't find the guy who installed it, and I need help. And you have and, to fix and, it. And unfortunately, our answer is, well, we can't touch somebody else's work, and we're really sorry. Good luck. Well, it's what we say. We say do it the right the first time, and that's why you want to go through the Approved Home Pro Show and ApprovedHomePros.com. Now, we do have a fan question for you. Hope you're ready for this. Uh, I like the idea of turf, but I hate when my kids come home from the school's turf field with those black pieces that I get everywhere in my home. If I install turf at my house, is there a way to avoid the black mess? It's Grayson Coronado who wrote that. Ah, this is a great question uh, that I get a lot, actually. Uh, none of our products require any kind of rubber crumb infill. In fact, we have this curly little fiber down at the base of the blades. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's called the thatch. Um, and you invented that. In right. this, yeah, in this product, it's tan. It resembles the dead undergrowth of a natural grass. But our company actually invented this about 10 years ago to replace that rubber crumb infill that is, uh, it, it draws heat, it migrates out around the edges, it's messy, and it's just uh, more maintenance. All right, well, thank you for that. Hey, if you would like to ask a question uh, for us, you can email us or make your own video. Send it to questions at approvedhomepros.com. But real quick, I want to tell you, call them at 619-594-66. That's 619-594-66. Sinlon, you get 10% off up to $500. Jamie, thank you so much for coming on. Thank with you. Us. Th thank you very much. Thanks, guys. All right. And now